Brian Bigor and happy St. Patty's Day to you. Yes, believe it or not, the rosy girl doesn't really have a lot of green around, although it's my favorite, certainly one of my favorite uh, colors, as you know, from looking at the Rancho walls here. I always found it very uh, soothing and, uh, well, just a color that I enjoy. I hope that your day is off to a great start and you will have a great St. Patty's Day. Last night was pretty off the chains with uh, the walk that I went on last night it was really a super a super walk and it was it was pretty amazing to me that in a journey of ten miles and coming across maybe ten or twelve different people in my journey that only two people were kind of nice to me <laughs> yesterday which is you know well I should say three one one gal recognized me uh on as being on YouTube oh I know you from YouTube yes you do but otherwise um you know it was kind of a kind of a negative experience and I think a lot of what makes towns and cities and communities great is that sense of main street right any small town medium sized big town even big cities there's something exciting to me as a live streamer to go to a city or town's main street is typically where i'll gravitate to because it's just it's uh, street that gives you the best feel for the town i guess that's the best way to put it but i've noticed now that um i don't want to call it permissiveness in society because uh, this community santa rosa goes to great lengths to accommodate pretty much everybody and they try to provide uh, housing through hotels for homeless. They try to provide vouchers for that in the case of uh, overflow need. They have even areas designated where people can come and park their car. It's called a safe zone here. And they can sleep in their car, their RV, or whatever without worry of being hassled. And that is a wonderful thing. But, you know, you hit the streets like I did last night and it just bewilders me and saddens me how many people are still pitched on the uh, streets and living on the streets in a community where it doesn't necessarily have to be but we have to understand that some people can't adapt to the shelter life for whatever reason uh they may get into fights they may be have some paranoia about theft and things like that which i know happens and in other cases they, um, you know, they're caught with drug or alcohol use within the uh, confines of the shelter or whatever, and they're given the royal boot out and they end up on the street. But the sense of being able to block sidewalks, to put your stuff up so, so much on the sidewalk that somebody almost has to walk through a maze to get through is a little disconcerting. And I didn't experience last night. I was maintaining my normal pace through walking up Main Street. And I encountered a girl. I don't know how it looked like she'd washed her hair or something on the street. I don't know. But I, I neither slowed down nor sped up. I just thought to myself, maybe I paused a second like, shit, how am I going to navigate through all this stuff? Do I go up on the wood chips on the side? You know, the hill's got a steep bank. Do I walk in the street? So I kind of slowed down a little bit just to go through. And, you know, I got a little bit of guff because I had a uh, camera and a woman's F-bombing and, uh, you know, take your picture and go, well, hell, I'm on a public sidewalk. This is what I do. I'm a live streamer. And oftentimes I'm a mobile live stream and i just think that uh, respect has to be accorded to everybody on the street and just not some people right you're blocking a public right away making it difficult where somebody could go around that's maybe not 
you know, physically challenged or whatever in a wheelchair, what are they supposed to do when they navigate your situation there, right? I mean, if you thought that this person was going to, oh, let me stop, let me get everything out of the way so you can go through. No, this person had a whole, whole hotel set up, set up there on the, the uh, sidewalk. And I don't understand why the city would tolerate that, but that's really... Well, it is kind of my business because I pay taxes that filter down to the uh, city. But I've noticed in all the years, and this is the seventh year that I've been mobile live streaming on the street, I've noticed this, this sense of entitlement on the streets has become more and more pervasive. And uh, anybody has a right to do anything on the public sidewalk as long as they're not breaking the law. Which means if I want to go along and capture video or live stream, I'm certainly entitled to. And it's not like you own that piece of land that I'm coming through as a member of the public, right? So I think, in a way, you may not appreciate what I'm doing. You may not like it. But I don't pause to highlight you, highlight your situation. I highlighted the mess it was last night and the difficulty of navigating through with not an ounce of compassion or understanding on the other side. So this sense of street entitlement um, makes me wonder what's the next step, you know, violence on the street because you dare to be on a public sidewalk, right? Lord forbid. You know, as we lose more of our uh, more rights, more access to public. I remember when I took Missy Jen to L.A. and we had a nice trip. But we went over Broadway towards Chinatown, and uh, the tents were literally right to the edge of the sidewalk to the curb, right without an inch to spare. And I'm walking along, pushing Missy Jen in a weird wheelchair and thinking to myself what the hell am i going to do now i end up having to go down to the street with par cars bombing by me at 30 40 miles an hour people wanting to turn on freeway ramps and they're they're honking their horns flipping me off and cursing me right and i don't think one of those people that was in that uh camp which was probably two blocks long really gave a flying F about our situation and made it very uncomfortable. It made it extremely dangerous. And it made it extremely disconcerting out there. And I just makes just makes me wonder what the future holds. So I'm gonna close it out now. See you guys later. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. Thumbs up. I'd like to hear your comments down below. Are the streets becoming more uncivilized or things about the same? Any experiences that you had? Let me know in the comment section down below and please thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, hit the sub button and uh, I will see you guys later.